Hi Aquarius, this is Patricia1111 and welcome to my platform. First and foremost, I want to tell you that your, that your uh, reading uh, was done late uh, because of the fact that I was going through, uh, in the month of April and May, I got hit with uh, ascension symptoms uh, that really knocked me off my feet and uh, the divine said that I needed to rest and I could not give readings and that it was not in the right time. So as you see this now, for those of you that are here, uh, it's in the right time for you, which is in divine timing. For others of you that will come in later, it all will it'll also be in the right time for you as well. Just remember that my readings are timeless because uh, th this is a timeless reading, okay? It's not in linear. Um, I My messages are accurate. I have uh, accurate predictions. And uh, I will be able to, uh, sometimes even if your reading is for May, I will predict other um um, dates for you and times as well okay now uh, before we get started the reading um, anything that you want to know about me will be underneath this video okay so you have to look underneath the video and you have a, a, a ways of reaching me so first to start off any before we start off the reading um, you know I have my singing bowl here this is for the crown chakra now what this bowl does is that it clears my space my energy your space your energy okay Aquarius and uh, so if you're carrying something heavy inside of you, while I'm ringing it, take a deep breath in, okay, inhale, and then you exhale anything that does not serve you, and uh, you see that it will work. So let's go for count number one. Here we go, nice. Now I have my spray, my spray. I will spray some on Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, my angels, my cards and my space, you. This is Archangel, this is our, This is Metadron, of course, him and me, okay? And there we go. I put uh, rose oil in here uh, with a bit of sandalwood and patchouli. It's really amazing, okay? so. I hope you like it for those of you that are going to be able to smell it. Now, um, like usually, I have six oracles, six oracle cards in front of me. Okay. Now, uh, how, why I do this is very simple. Oracle cards are very powerful cards, sometimes more powerful than the tarot itself. Okay. And so if you have any questions, anything, just ask your questions as many as you want. And then you could choose by pack or by crystal or just let your intuitive guide you, okay? Your higher self, okay? Or uh, your intuition guide you to where your answers will be. And at the end of the reading, we will look at them together. Now, for those of you that will choose, Ask Angels. This is Ask Angels, okay? Deck number one. I put the skull. For those of you that want deck number two with life purpose, deck number two with life, life purpose, Orange Selenite. For those of you that want to choose Romance Angels, Romance Angels, number three with the Rose Quartz. For those of you that want to choose Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raphael, number four with the Heart Amethyst. For those of you that want Archangel Michael, deck number five, Archangel Michael with the Black Obsidian. And last but not least, if you want to choose the Keepers of Light, number six, with the rainbow fluorite. Now, all these beautiful crystals that I have here, okay, right here, and so many that you cannot see right now because I don't have enough space to put them on my table. Look at this one here, okay? Look how beautiful this one is. I don't know if you could see the reflection of it, okay? But um, this is also a rainbow fluorite as well, but shaped into a heart. Go visit my sister on Facebook, okay? She has the highest frequency of... Um, uh, she has the highest frequency of crystals. Her name is Leslie uh, Crystal Lopez. Leslie Crystal Lopez. Okay, I'll write her name underneath the video as well, where you could go and message her. And, uh, you know, and uh, you're going to see she has amazing, these crystals are amazing. They have like high frequency. And especially if you're working on yourself, working on oneself, okay, uh, you need high frequency crystals. So now I'll put these on the side. Okay, and we'll look at them together after. Okay, together. 
I also took out three uh, challenge cards for you in the month of uh, three challenge uh, three challenge cards for the month of May, and I also took out three theme cards for the month of May. But before I even start with that, I do have some channel, channel messages because when I got into your energy. Uh, they started speaking to me right away, okay? And what they're telling me is that if some of you are dating someone new or someone came to you, okay, uh, this is for business and for love, okay? If there's someone new in your life, I need you to be aware and be discerned of this person, okay? Uh, I don't feel that this person is in your highest vibration or in your highest good, is what they're saying, because there's something that's not completed yet by you, okay, Aquarius, there's some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, there's something that's not completed, from maybe a soulmate energy, someone that came towards you eight months ago, for some of you, you made the decision of letting go, because this person you felt was not for your highest good, but you're still feeling stuck and having a hard time moving away from this person, and um, but you need to be careful about this person as well, okay? They are not for your highest good, and it's for you to understand that there's something bigger and something better coming for you in terms of love and in terms of finances, okay? Uh, your heart chakra needs to be healed, okay, Aquarius? I know that a lot of you have been working on yourself, self-love, but you have to work more on your on your uh, heart chakra. I would, uh, I do have a sister that I could, uh, uh, that if you email me, I will give you her uh, website, that you could go on her website to get a healing from her as well. Or you can listen to Steve Noble, Steve, S-T-E-V-E, -E, Noble, N-O-B-E-L, on YouTube, okay? Powerful healer and meditation. I mean, um, so many, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's um, there's, there's no word to explain how um, good he is, okay? Uh, I feel that um, you're blocking yourself from receiving all that there is for you. Now, this is not for all of you, but you'll know who, who I'm speaking to because you will feel it in your heart chakra and you will get tingles in your body and you'll know that I'm talking to you, okay? You're going to feel it very strongly. Is that there's a wheel of fortune that's showing me a wheel, okay? There's like there's some luck coming towards you, a wheel of fortune, but I feel that you're blocking yourself from receiving this, okay? Um because there's a new beginning in finances for you, and I feel that like divine timing is there, but you need to get yourself, you need to get out of your own way, like for this to come through. Okay, trust and faith are very big in your reading in the month of May. Okay, I also feel May, June, July, August of 2019, where I feel you're gonna be having stability in your life, there's gonna be a conditional love in your life, and the sun is gonna be shining brightly on your life, okay, for the next uh, what, uh, three months and on, okay? There's an offering that's coming in for finances for you, a friendship, uh, some kind of forgiveness that has to take place as well, okay? So now let's get started with your reading. Oh, one more thing. There's a huge decision that you will have to do in the month of June of 2019. Please let me know in the comments when you have to come back, you know, come back in the month of June, watch this video and let me know what decision you have done for some of you this will have to be with business for others of you this has to do with a divine partnership which is aka twin flame okay so now let's get started with your reading i got here what are your challenges okay well your challenges you got is number nine okay broken heart so a lot of you um i'm not feeling that all of you are feeling this at this moment but some of you this happened maybe in the past okay for some of you this happened in the past that your heart got broken and you're still trying to mend it for others of you this is happening at this moment right now there's a lot of things coming to the surface uh maybe you rehatched something and it's starting to make you and a lot of you are feeling this pain okay a broken heart so i want to reverse this card to change the energy, to make it lighter, okay? So I will change the energy of it, and so it is, that you could somehow heal or mend your broken heart, okay? Next card I got is number 14, which is five. There's changes coming for you. There's caring connections around you. People are wanting to show you love, but I don't feel that you're, some of you are not ready for this, okay? Because of your broken heart, Aquarius, okay? Um, you're, you're having a hard time to trust again, okay? And uh, the only way to open yourself to unconditional love and to love 
is that you have to heal that heart. So there is going to be connect, uh, caring connections around you in the month of May. You've got number 45. Man holding heart or it could be a woman holding heart. It doesn't matter, okay? E either, e each or or. Okay, this also equals to a number nine. So you already have two nines and that's completions that are taking place. You're not too far. This person that's coming in, for some of you, this person is really true to their heart. They express their love. They want to give you love. You might think it's too good to be true, okay? But there is someone here that is genuinely for you, okay? So I'm going to put this. But your challenge is this month is to recognize that you need healing done, okay? If not, go visit a Reiki person, a Reiki master that could give you a healing around your house. If there's someone that you trust, okay? It really helps with the process. Self-love. Okay, taking care of you because there is caring connections that are going to take place in your life. If it's not in the month of May, it will happen in the month of June and July or August of 2019. What is the theme here? Well, you got the seven of Michael, the seven of Michael. So what Mike, Archangel Michael is saying to you is there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. You see here... You're going towards where you're going where you're work you're you're wanting to be alone thinking well not that you're thinking but for some of you you're gonna want to take this path alone and Archangel Michael is saying no look how dark it is on this side and why don't you go on this side where the light is okay so this is where your challenge will have to be as well and this is the theme where you're gonna Archangel Michael says that you have to review all details and maybe let your friends help you help you or someone guide you towards the light okay. You got number eight, seven, eight, eight of Michael. Archangel Michael is really strong here for you in your reading, okay, Aquarius? Uh, and he says you can be free. Make a courageous, a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. This is like the eight of swords, okay, where you're feeling stuck, but it's all in your mind. And look at the gate. The gate is open. You are free to go, okay? And... Uh, Maybe some of you are not seeing things clearly. Why? Well, because look how dark it is here. You're choosing to go this way instead of the other way. And you got number nine. So right in here, it, there's a synchronicity, which I didn't... Wow, that's cool. So you got seven, eight, nine, okay? And um, you have one, two, three, three nines already on the ground, okay? Major completions here for you. Epiphany. It says, joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answer that come from uh that come through meditations okay so meditation will be great for you so listen to steve noble uh he will help you for sure in reaching to your higher self to your uh, your spirit guides and to your angels okay so epiphanies a lot of epiphanies dreams that will be coming towards you now let's get into your reading okay this is for aquarius sun moon rising and venus what are the messages here for you? Now, please comment, okay? Let me know how you're feeling about this reading. Now, remember, if something doesn't resonate with you, and some of it does, take what, it, what resonates with you and leave the rest, because the rest is for the collective, okay? Always look at your rising, your moon, and your Venus. It's so important. And if you don't know how to do that, go on Google and write free birth chart, okay? And follow the steps. If you do not know the time you're, that you are born, do not second guess it. Put 12 p.m. That's the standard time. And it will give you all your plans with the signs, okay, that go with it. What are the messages for Aquarius? And then come back at the end of the month and watch it again. And you're going to tell me if this reading does resonate with you. Okay, what are the messages? Oh, too many cards. What are the messages for Aquarius. Well, some of you are dealing with a Leo here, if that's the case. Some of you, something in the month of, you have the sun that's shining on you, okay? You have the sun that's shining on you on this. A lot of you went through a period in your life. I'm not talking about now, but in the past, maybe five years ago, or, oh, oh boy, this Sorry about that. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. I'm back. Sorry about that. My camera went flying. Okay, so like I was saying, 
Uh, you got the sun that's shining on you. And um, you might be dealing with a uh, Leo for some of you. Others of you, there's also in the past, I'm not talking about not, this could be five years ago, 10 years ago, five weeks ago, five months ago. Uh, you lost, some of you went through a bankruptcy, okay? I do see that, but you are over that and uh, you're all, you are over that and some of you are taking a rest now, okay? You're trying to recover from what you went through. You went through a very, a loss, could be a loss of money or a loss of a person, okay? Now, I'm going to take out the cards here, put these here, okay, and put all these cards here for you. And then I will show them to you. Okay. Now, um, for the month of May, there's some kind of crystals that you will need, okay? And these crystals will help you in the month of May, June, July, and August of 2019. If you have them already, then that's great. But if you do not have them, you should get them, okay? And uh, go see my sister. On uh, Her prices are really, really good, and her crystals are really amazing. So for some of you, you will need a, a sunstone, okay? A sunstone, okay? This is a very, it's, it's a very important uh, crystal to get. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. This and this card here. I'm using different kinds of, I'm um, different kind of deck with you because I felt that your vibration and spirit told me that this is the deck I had to use for you. So you're the only one in all the videos. You're the only one that I used this deck because I will be starting using it next month, but you're the only one. So now there's something here. Okay, here we go. Put these here for later and see what's underneath the deck. Okay. First week you got here is you got the sun card followed by the five of pentacles reversed, followed by the four of one uh swords upright the sun card is a is the best card that you can get okay this will probably happen in the first week okay or in all the month of may okay that the, when the sun is shining you feel better um it's like sun the sun is the energy of 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 the of the divine of the universe that's coming towards you that wants to make everything beautiful around you okay and you will be needing a sunstone okay for others of you in the past that went through a, diff, uh, a financial uh, I don't know, maybe you lost a lot of money, some of you went bankrupt. Uh this is past, okay? Showing me that you, they're they they are going to power you up financially, okay? There's something that's coming towards you that's very grand and I know Aquarius, you've been feeling this, okay? That you've been seeing the signs, okay? Uh and the stone for this one is uh malachite. So uh, maybe some of you need to carry malachite, but don't always carry it all the time because it's always a stone to always carry. But sometimes you could use it, you know, or, you know, buy like a smaller version of it, okay? Then you have the Four of Swords, and that talks about rest, okay? You taking a rest from all this because you went through something very difficult, which a five plus a four is a nine, and you got another nine on the ground. That means there's a lot of completions that are taking place for you, okay? A lot of completions, now, they're telling me to tell you this, okay, uh, that, um, well, I'm going to have to tell you at the end, not now, okay? So what we're going to do now is going to go through the second week, the second week. In the second week, you got the Ten of Swords, followed by the Eight of Cups, followed by the Six of Swords. So a lot of you, this is an ending, okay? This is a Ten of Swords. It's an ending of a difficult situation. A 10, from a 9, you went to a 10, which is great. The 10 talks about new beginnings where you're not going to feel all of this, but your heart chakra still needs to be healed, is what they're telling me. You got the Eight of Cups. You're, you know deep inside that you are... Um, you're having a hard time letting go of your... Or you're walking away from a past that did not serve you, Okay? And you need uh, also to get the crystal aquamarine is what they're telling me. And the Six of Swords talks about you moving away. Again, two cards that show me that you're going to be moving away. There's changes that are coming for you. You're walking away because you, you know there's a cup that you always wanted. And you're going for that cup. Some of you are going through a spiritual journey right now you are awakening you're seeing the signs you, you start working on yourself some of you will be relocating moving or if it's not physically moving you are going to be just moving away from an era of your life 
okay where things were really tough in the third week you got the in the third week you got The Queen of Pentacles, this could be a uh, cancer, uh, sorry, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're dealing with. This could be you and your finances as well. Uh, you got the Lover's card, okay? So this is a Gemini, or okay, it doesn't have to be, okay? But it's someone, this is Archangel Raphael that's bringing, this is an angel that's saying, hey, you know what? I'm bringing this person in your life because this is a person that you are meant to be with, okay? Uh, you are designed to be with this person. Um, now, uh, this, like I said, this could be a lover. Uh, if this, if you're a single and there's no one there, well, this could be s someone that's coming in. Could be a friend. Could be a uh, someone new that's coming into your life. Okay, that will change your life to the better. Okay, it will. Uh, some of you are you're bonded to this person on a spiritual level. You feel this person on a spiritual level when you do your meditations. For some of you, some of you have not met your divine partner yet, a.k.a. Twin Flame, okay? And for others of you, it's, a, it's an important decision that has to be made. Again, I got the devil card here, which is, this is the Capricorn card, okay? Um, now, um, this you will need to have, okay? You need a rose, a rose quartz around with you. You need, and you need an obs obsidian like this one here, okay? Obsidian and a rose quartz, rose Quartz for the heart chakra because there's a decision that has to be made here i feel that this person is stable if this, this is a person that's coming to you they're stable okay they're very stable and yes you know they have tendencies and they may be a certain way but um uh, i feel that the capricorn this, if this has to do with Capricorn, it has to also do with Saturn in retrograde in Capricorn right now. That's bringing this person because a lot of uh, planets are in Cap are in uh, retrograde at this moment. And the last week you got is you got the Death card, which is a Scorpio card reversed. You got the Three of Swords upright again. Two cards that indicate two cards here that indicate that your heart chakra needs to be healed. Okay, because there was too much words that hurt you, too much actions that hurt you, too many things that happened that hurt you. So what I'll do is I'm going to put this card uh, again, reversed, okay? Because I know I could change the energy of the reading and I could change the energy how now you feel, uh, Aquarius, okay? Um, and you also got someone that you're resisting. As I feel there's a resistance here. And you also got the Ten of Wands, okay, uh, reversed. Now, I'm going to put this card upright, why? Because the ten of when I <clears throat> when I why is because this is the ending, an ending of difficulty in your life, an ending of you carrying a tour. You're carrying so much on your shoulders. It's not even funny, okay? And um, what they they want you to tell what they want to tell you is that they want you to affirm for this card is I love and care for myself first. I love and care for myself first. Okay, so now let's put this card like this now. At the knee, underneath the deck, you got the five of wands reversed, which is good when the five of wands is reversed. Actually, it's, a, it's better when it's, uh, if it's upright, it means it's not that good. It means you're stuck in a three-dimensional energy. But when it's up, it, when it's reversed, it talks about where the card, where it talks about you're not around uh, people or situations uh, that want to fight with you or you're not around drama or toxic people, okay? So this is a very good card to have. Now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use, okay, the cards here just to get some more information, okay, about you. Aquarius, sun, moon, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aquarius, May 2019. Why is the sun card here? Please show me why the sun card is here. You got the four of wands. Okay, so the four of wands and your affirmation is the universe brings all I need to feel blissful. Okay, four of wands. This card talks about this for me. Look at this card very carefully. This is 1111. 
Okay? So this is a spiritual awakening code that you placed yourself, that you placed there for yourself. Others of you, this has to do with a home, a completion of a home. Okay, there's a happiness here. Look at the colors that are surrounding you. Okay, this could be in the month of May, and it could go all the way down to the month of, I have, I have like three, I have June, July, August, 2019. The next three months, okay, starting in this month, Maybe at the end of this month, you're going to start feeling the shift, okay? There's a shift coming for you. Happiness at home, okay? Happiness. And universe wants you to say, I am optimistic and I appreciate all I have. These are very good. This is very good what I see here. I see very strong a divine partnership, a.k.a. Twin Flame. But I also see a completion of a home, buying a new home also, okay? Um redecorating your new home. I see that as well. Four of Wands and the Sun card. Give me one more card for this. Give me one more card. Six of Wands. Okay. It's incredible how your reading is so synchronized in numerology. It's incredible. I started out with how many nines? We had one, two, three, four nines on the ground. Completions, completions, Okay. And now we have tens on the ground, which is new beginnings, okay? So from the four, you went to the six of wands, which just is like, just, it's perfect. If you add the six and the four together, what does it give you? A ten, which is a new beginning. Success, success here, okay? There's going to be huge success for you. If you're dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius. If it's not Sagittarius, it's an Aries, but it doesn't matter about the sign, okay? This is something that is very, very important for you to know, that you have to understand that the cards do not lie, that's very important. When the cards come out, they do not lie. Some of you are dealing with a fire energy. If not, this is you, okay? In the in this month of May, going to month of August of 2019, you have the sun that's shining, wanting to give you success or meeting, or maybe you're going to be successfully abundant or the person that you will be meeting will be successfully abundant as well, okay? This is something very auspicious for you and I'm very happy to see this, okay? Very, very happy. Carry a sunstone with you, Aquarius. A sunstone. You need a, stun, a sunstone. S-U-N, stone, okay? Now, I asked... Uh, you had, you've been, I asked about what the five of uh, pentacles was here for you. And the, what they gave me, okay, is that uh, you had to make a decision. Okay, you had to make a decision or you're going to have to make a decision or you already made a decision at the beginning of the week. Okay, sorry for the glare. Okay, here we go. The two of stores, there you go. And um, so, talks about making a decision with your heart. Okay, you knew that you had to make this, this decision already with your mind. You probably did, but the heart chakra has to be cleared, is what I hear. Very strong here. And this decision was done a while back ago, but it's still showing up here. Why is it still showing up here? You got the temperance card. You, <laughs> this is the one of the, also, again, one of the best cards, again, in the deck. Okay, look at the color schemes around. Sun is shining. Okay, the temperance talks about... Uh, you balancing, you balancing. This could be someone coming in. could be a Sagittarius for some of you. It doesn't have to be, okay? It could also be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, okay? It's not about the sign here. You'll know if who this person is for. You'll know why, who this person is, okay? In your heart chakra. And um, you find a lot of your clarity through calmness. We, you will need a blue... Okay, calcite, a blue calcite to maintain this, okay? Um, it's a very good crystal to use for uh, ground, to be grounded. And um, you, you are an angel. You've been working on yourself. You've been working hard, okay? You've been trying to balance everything. Um, it could also be earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is, I'm picking up very strong. Very good. Why is the four of swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Oop, here we go. This card went up. Okay, you got the Two of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, you're taking a rest, okay? You're taking a break. True. You're trying to take the rest that you need. Or some of you are meditating a lot as well because I feel that you're all over the place sometimes, Aquarius. Now, don't get me wrong. 
but this is what I'm picking up right here in the first week or in the month of May. You're being pulled in many directions. You're multitasking. You're doing a lot and you need to rest. It's so important. Okay. Um, you have to make a decision. There's a decision because you already have two tools on the ground. So there's a decision that has to be made here. Uh, and you have to make it calmly. Using a lot of meditation will help you as well. Okay. Uh, you're being pulled in many directions and you need to ground yourself. So maybe going around taking a, a, a sea salt bath with Epsom salt, I'm sorry, with crystals or rose petals. Uh, carrying a stone that will help you with this, okay? Uh, they're saying is the Malachite that will help you to make this decision, this decision, okay? And this has to do with something of your past for some of you. You got the Six of Cups here. So you got, a, uh, you got, when you see sixes, uh, it's a very good, when you see sixes, it talks about prosperity that's coming in for you, okay? But some of you, um, you remember the past, there's something about the past here that you have to make a decision about. You need to surrender for some of you. You need to let this go. You need to let this go. I don't know who this, this message is for, but I know for sure that this message is for someone that needs to let this go. Forgiveness. Okay? Need to let this go. Make the right choice. It's not about being right or wrong. Do what is, do what is right is what I'm hearing. Uh, you will need an aquamarine crystal for that now let's go for the second week you still have beautiful cards here sixes you got fives fours and twos so you've probably been seeing these numbers a lot of two two twos you've been seeing you've been seeing a lot of five five fives six 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 okay a lot of you need to ground yourself in the second week you got the seven of cups, okay? So the seven talk, to, uh, yes, you could dream big. You could dream away as much as you want to manifest, but then you have to let go of the uh, out. You have to let go, let go of it and just know that the outcome will be favorable to you. You can't hold on to your dreams. You have to let them go and let the universe and trust the universe. Trust and have faith in the universe to bring this to you, okay? You need to stay grounded. It's very important that you have to stay grounded here. You need to stay grounded is what I'm picking up very strong. And you have to trust yourself to see the truth in the situation. You got the nine of wands. Nine of wands talks about you harvesting. you uh, Everything that you've been working hard on. Everything that you went through is right here. Look how many nines. You already have one, two. Five, five nines on the ground. And this talks about also some of you resisting, blocking yourself. Okay. You got the nine and then you have the ten. This is an ending, an ending of a situation that's going to be taking place. Okay, it's a, there's an ending here and a new beginning taking place for you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Please show me why the Eight of Cups is here for Aquarius. Again, another nine. <laughs> Some of you are having a hard time sleeping at night in the second week or in the whole month of May. You're worried. You're worried about your finances. You're worried about everything. And the universe is saying, no, 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 no. Please give your worries to us. Give your worries to the angels. They are there to intervene. That's why they want you to meditate. They want you to heal that heart chakra of yours. Because it's all in your mind. You're making it. Some of you are uh, fearful. You're, um, you're trying to reach higher consciousness, but you're still stuck in the 3D. But you're being too hard on yourself. You have to let this go. Okay. Um, you have to trust. Again, trust is a big word here for you. In the present moment, you have to trust what's coming for you. And know that everything will be all right. Because whatever you're worrying about, you're co-creating it to make it bigger. You need to let go. And for th for this, you will need Suglite. Suglite. So it's S-U-G-L-I-T-E. This is a stone that you will need to let go. You have so many synchronicities here. Wow, I, I'm freaking out. 
how beautiful your reading is. Why is this here? Four cups. There's something that you're not wanting to see. Or maybe you're seeing it, but you don't want to see it. Okay, you have to listen to your heart and follow your knowing. The angels are trying to show you here. They've been showing you. Maybe you're not interpreting the uh, angel numbers or something. There's something that you're not seeing. You have to follow your heart. You have to listen to your heart. But if your heart is broken and hurt, how are you going to listen to it? Right? Please take care of yourself because I want you to have this. This is beautiful what's coming for you because there's an Ace of Pentacles here. There's a gift that's coming towards you in the month of May, okay? This could be a gift of monetary. This could be a person coming in to bring you this gift, but the universe is bringing you this, okay? And um, your affirmation is, I'm always rewarded for all I do. Keep positive. Now, why is the Six of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Six of Swords here for Aquarius? You get the Eight of Wands. That's beautiful. There's changes coming. <laughs> yeah, changes are coming, but beautiful changes are coming. Okay, uh, the Eight of Wands talks about communication that's going to be taking place. A lot of communication, okay, through text messages, phone, a lot of love. Action, okay, action, fiery. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, okay? Some of you are dealing with a with an earth sign. Some of you are dealing with a air sign like you. You will know in your heart. You will know. It will hit in your soul who I'm talking about because this is something that is going to be coming towards you where it's going to take, it's going to bring you action and adventure. Why is the six of swords and the eight of wands here? Okay, let's see what they want. So I asked why this was here. Hmm. Again, look at the twos you have, the two of wands that came up, the two of wands. You're going to start picking up the pieces of your life, okay, Aquarius, in the month of May. A lot of you are picking up the pieces of your life. You're seeing you're seeing where, uh, for some of you, where you want to travel to, okay, or because some of you want to go on vacation, I do feel that, or you need to go on vacation, but you didn't have the money to do this for some of you. Okay, a lot of you are going to be going short distance term to a, like, places back and forth. Others of you, you're picking up the pieces of your life, and um, you got this, okay? The two, you got three twos on the ground. Du duality is here for you, okay? You got the Ace of Wands. So the universe is coming in and bringing you the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Gift coming in, money coming in, okay? Stability coming in for you. Fire, passion, love, creativity, fertility is all here for you, okay? And it comes with a king or a queen. Of cups okay this is cancer scorpio pisces this could be the full moon in scorpio that's going to bring this person to you as well this is someone that is uh very familiar with uh he, this person is able to, to express themselves they're able to express themselves very very good from the heart they're truly from the heart okay they healed themselves they healed themselves and their third eye is completely open here okay i see this for some of you and um, for if you need to manifest this person in your life, you will need the angel aura quartz. It's called an angel aura quartz. This person probably does wear also crystals around his neck or her neck, okay? And or this could be you, Aquarius. Maybe your 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 moon is in Scorpio, or Cancer, or Pisces here, okay? where you are going to be emotionally stable, okay? You have made it, okay? Because the universe is coming in and said, okay, you know what? We've seen what you've been through. And I know Aquarius, trust me, I know you have been through the... Like, I know every sign goes through things, but Aquarius, you got hit so hard in a couple last years that I feel like really like... Uh, sad that a lot of things happen to you but you it shows me that you've been working and of course sometimes it's hard to let go and have trust but you have to let go of this fear of not having enough or not or lacking of okay because the universe is coming in and saying you know what okay look we know that you worked hard on yourself we see this okay you've been trying to balance everything okay 
the sun is shining on this here. So there is going to be a completion in the home. Even if, let's say, you're not with somebody, okay? And you're with your children in the home. Well, there's a happiness there, okay? There's fruition there. Uh, everybody's happy again, okay, for some of you, okay? And, yeah, the universe is coming and is saying, yeah, well, we're, we're bringing you this. We're bringing you passion back in your life, okay? You're going to start picking up the pieces of your life. We're bringing you passion. We're bringing you money, okay? Stability here, okay? This could be you or someone else that's coming in for you, okay? You got the Ace of Wands. This is beautiful. Now, let's see what's happening in the third week here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers and the Devil card. Ooh, what does the Queen of Pentacles have to do with Five of Swords. Okay. Some of you may be. If this is a person that is your twin flame that's coming back again for some of you, that let's say this is someone that has or you're with someone already that is like a someone like a twin flame or a soulmate or a lover or a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Okay. Uh this has to do the five of swords usually talks about how a person hurts another person, okay, like, does, like, how can I say, they take, not all of them, but sometimes they take, they take pleasure in hurting others, maybe you're dealing with this kind, or for some of you, what I feel, because I really picked up this, uh, for a lot of you Aquarius out there, this has to do with your workplace, okay, and uh, the reason why I say that is because that's what they showed me before, when I channeled you, channeled you the messages before I started the reading, if you go back and listen to it, okay, I feel that there's someone around your workplace that is not being honest with you. They're trying to take away credit from you and take their own credit. Like whatever work you're doing, they're trying to take it for themselves. So be careful around your workplace, okay? And uh, be, yeah, just be very careful and you will need to heal yourself from this, okay, is what I'm picking up. Now, what else could it mean? Let's see. I'm going to ask more questions here, okay? Like that I can get deeper into the reading. Why is the Five of Swords here with the Queen of Pentacles? So you're dealing with a Leo. Some of you are, you know, I feel Aquarius. Not, this is not all the time, okay? Some of, you, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. But what I'm picking up very strong here for you, okay, is that you have the strength to go through this. You are like, if... People are, you are needed. Okay, now let's say this has to do with your finances, okay? And this has to do with your career. You are needed in this workplace. And yes, there's a lot of people try to always backstab you. But you got this, okay? You've been seeing this. And yeah, it hurts you that people are taking, you know, cheap shots at you, okay? But you got this. You have to heal this, okay? And let it go. Know that it's not you and it's them. Because you have the power to change things, okay? Again, these two cards are like the sun card and the strength card. Okay, this talks about where whatever comes your way, you're gonna handle it. Okay, you're gonna ha you're gonna deal with whatever comes your way because you're strong. You put a lot of work into yourself. Okay, like this card here also it's almost like this card. There's a lot of infinity symbols around you. Some of you have an infinity symbol on you. Okay, of a reminder of a reminder of what you went through, okay, and how you balanced your life and how you were able. A lot of you took your own path. You decided to walk away from everything and took your own path, okay? But Archangel Michael is saying that there is help around you and you could reach out to people if you really want to, okay? Uh, you tamed something inside of you. There's something that you tamed inside of you. Practicing the self-love. Okay, is what I'm picking up. And for those of you that have not been feeling good, Aquarius, you will start feeling better in the third week with this uh, Scorpio full moon and in the month of May as well. Okay. You also got the Five of Cups. A lot of fives on the ground talks about changes that are taking place. Positive changes. Five of Cups means that at times, Aquarius, you are looking at the things that went wrong in your life and you're not looking at the blessings around you. 
Like truly the blessings that you have around you. Could be a home, could be some friends, family members, your children. Okay. And, uh, but you don't feel that now is the right time for you to move forward. Okay. Like there's some, you're still like undecisive because you really didn't make that decision that you have to make. But you will move forward when your time is right, when it's a divine timing. If this has to do with actions taken towards your work, if this has to do with work or with a partner, okay? Why is the lover's card here? Judgment. Hmm. Well, judgment. You got judgment with the lover's card. This is someone that's coming in. This could be karmic for some of you. This is a karmic relationship or something that's coming to head where it will bring you your completion. For others of you, this is someone that's coming in that's faded. Okay, in the third week of May as well. Okay, now again, it can overlap to June, July, and August of 2019 for you. Is what I found feel very strong. Uh, you will need a blood, a bloodstone and a rose quartz to manifest this, okay? Um, a sense here I'm picking up is a sense of forgiveness. Huge forgiveness here. Compassion, compassion and forgiveness. And this is the archangel that's coming in saying, Hey, you know what? We've seen what you've been through, okay? And we're bringing this to you. Now, again, this is all, uh, what's the word? Um, free will. You will have to make a decision. There's a decision here that has to be made. Why is the judgment here with the lover's card? Nine of cups. Again, another nine. Six nines. Some of you maybe someone that 96 or 69, 1969. For some of you, this is the nine of cups. Dreams coming true. You trust the flow that's going through your life. You're trusting it, okay? You know that something big is coming for you. You've been seeing the signs. Some of you are resisting it as well. Some of you are blocking your own things to come through because of fear. Fear does not exist in the 5D. You can be 5D and still be in the fear. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here for Aquarius? So for you, for some of you that you were dealing with a Capricorn, if you were dealing with a Capricorn, there was something that was off balance for you. Whatever you were giving, you weren't receiving. Or this could be also the time that uh, Saturn right now is in uh, retrograde. In Capricorn, That's uh, you're feeling a bit off balance here. Okay? We'll see what else this talks about. Why is the Devil card here with the Six of Pentacles reversed? Some of you are dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Okay. Man or woman. Someone that is very fiery, very creative, very fertile. Um, I also feel this person here, if you're dealing, if someone is dealing here with someone that they're having a hard time letting go of, this person keeps coming in and out of your life. There's something that's off balance here for both of you. Whatever you're giving, you're not receiving. Okay, and a lot of you are, are wanting this person to come back. The reason is why do you want this person to come back? For some of you, there, there was a, a, another person involved in this. That's why it did not work out. Okay, there was someone else involved or you felt that something else was involved or someone else was involved. So you're dealing with an Aries here, Aries. I feel all this has to do with work for you. Okay, 
there's some there was something that you were off balance of maybe it was a capricorn but what i feel here is that if you're owning your own business some of you have to own your own business something about you owning your own business being on the top of the world you have a lot of wisdom you're you have so many choices here they're saying so many choices where you could teach others you're you're going to be expanding in your business, uh, Aquarius, if you own your own business. I feel a lot of uh, hurt here and regret in the reading. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card reversed? There's some kind of resistance that you're um, in the last week. Some kind of resistance... Transformation that uh, is not um, some kind of transformation here. There's resistance. This could be with a full moon. It might like, it might put you off balance for some of you. But there is a new beginning that will take place for you. There is a new beginning because there's a new beginning as it shows me here. Okay, you got the full card with the Ace of Wands, uh, Swords. So now you got three. Again, three. A lot of threes on the ground. Ascendant Masters here. This is a catalyst change that's taking place. I can't find the Ace of Wands. Oh, here it is. Ace of Pentacles. You got three aces on the ground. One, one, one is very strong here. Okay? One, one, one. And God being here, which is a new beginning. And uh, you are guided and protected on your life journey. A lot of you are just uh, walking your own path. You know, being in the moment. There's a new beginning that's going to take place for you because you're going to start seeing things clear. There's going to be a lot of communication. You're going to be cutting through all the fog that was once there, okay, Aquarius? And um, there's a gift coming for you. The Ace of Wands talks about um, your sacral chakra. Uh, a lot of creativity, a lot of... Um, you're gonna Something is going to return in your life that's going to bring this new beginning for you, okay? A lot of passion here. Why is the Three of Swords here? There's um, an apology that might come towards you. This could be an apology with the Page of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be. For some of you, if you're going to school, uh, if um, you're going to school and you're going through exams, uh, you're going to get, uh, or you have to, after you're finishing your school, you're going and doing your career, there's going to be an offer here. It's the beginning of a place where you could work. For others of you, if you're in school and you want a loan, okay, Whatever loan, if there's a loan that you want or any kind of loan for any of you, uh, this is going to come in. This is a job here for some of you, your career. For others of you, this is your child. If you have a child as a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or just a child, okay, they are grounded, okay? Very happy child here, okay? And um, I also see here as a lot of our personal growth that's going to take place, okay? The opportunity of our personal growth is going to take place for you. For some of you, this is an apology as well. Okay, this card fell on the floor. Let me pick it up. It went flying on the floor for you. Okay, Aquarius, hold on a second. Okay. Yep, you got the Empress card. So whatever transformation, okay, that took place or didn't, okay, that took place for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, because others of you are resisting the change. For others of you that are not resisting the change, okay, you are rising from the phoenix, okay? This, a lot of you went through the three days and three nights of the dark soul of the night and the days or a huge transformation that took place and that some of you are still taking place, but it's gonna, you're gonna come out of it and you're not gonna recognize yourself anymore, okay, uh, Aquarius? For some of you are dealing with a Taurus person here. For others of you, uh, you're very fertile. You're very creative. Everything you touch, everything you touch turns to something positive here, okay? And another thing is that for some of you, okay, not all of you, but for some of you, uh, you could get pregnant, okay? Or if you're a grandmother, maybe you're daughter okay or your daughter-in-law will have another baby okay because i'm seeing someone pregnant here okay or there's also an opportunity here of uh creativity and making money okay if you're doing something on your own 
But you have to heal that heart chakra, is what they keep telling me here. We got the Ten of Wands. Why is this here? Two of Cups. And an ending of a situation brings someone else to you. Two people coming together wanting the same thing. Okay, two cups that are full. Because if your cup your cup is empty, you can't give you can't give your cup to someone if your cup is empty, right? But these are two cups that are full. And this could be talking about Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. It doesn't have to be a love uh, situation. It could also be for work. Uh two people coming back together, okay, uh where they understood each other and you are worthy of the deepest kind of love. You are worthy. Why is the two cups here? Do not give up, is what they're saying. Do not give up. You got the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles talks to me about how you dedicate to yourself, how you dedicate yourself to what you believe, okay? And they're saying, they're saying, do not give up, okay? Do not give up, okay? Because you got the World Card. Congratulations. You will learn from, and this is a, this is a beautiful card. How, why I tell you it's a beautiful card is because the world card means that any learned lessons in the past, anything that you went through in the past came to a head. There's a completion that took place here. Well, new beginnings, new worlds, new words, worlds will emerge. Okay, new worlds, a new world will emerge for you. Okay, it may not start, maybe you start to feel a bit, you start feeling it at the end of May or in May. But for some of you, this will go on until June, July, and August of 2019. Please let me know because I know for sure, in fact, you're going to tell me. Please let me know in the comments, okay? And um, you will need, uh, for that, you will need, for that kind, if you really, for the, the crystal I'm talking about, you will need the titani titanium quartz, okay? Very strong, powerful um, crystal to work with. There's a completion that takes place for you. Maybe you were apart from someone for a long time. Maybe because, you know, back then it was not in the divine timing to come together. You separated and some of you are coming back together again. For others of you, this has to do with work. Uh, but this is a very beautiful reading, okay? A very beautiful reading. New beginnings are starting for you, okay? It's coming in to change your life. So it's coming in to change your life. The world card is coming in with a boom. Okay? It's coming in with a boom because you wanted this. It's time for a change, Aquarius. To the better, not to the worst, to the better. Okay? The tower card, when it comes in, it just takes away anything or anyone that's not in your highest good. Okay? And it will bring change in your life. The most positive way the divine is coming in to bring you this change, this beautiful change here, okay? And you surrender. You need to surrender and know how to move forward in this new beginning that's taking place for you. Now, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I will show you the cards for the month of June, okay? Give me a second. I will show you the cards for the month of June. Okay? For the month of June, you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, followed by the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Luck on your side. Money coming towards you. Things, money, people, everything coming into your favor. You will need the green adventuring for this kind of uh, energy. And you have to say to yourself, I trust whatever the universe is bringing me. You got the magician. You got all the elements. Again, huge infinity here. The sun is shining. You have all your elements here, okay? And you're manifesting very quickly, okay? So just know, keep keep working hard because you're getting there. And it's also saying here that you will need a citrine, a citrine, citrine uh, crystal. And the Ten of Pentacles, new beginnings and finances. You will be secure. You will be stable, Okay? And celebrating everything you have or everything that you achieved. And so it is. Now, let's get into the Oracle cards. I'm excited to see the Oracle cards. Uh, okay. 
Oops, my camera is moving. Sorry about that. Okay, let's bring Archangel Michael here. Okay. Now, for those of you that chose Ask Angels with the skull, this is your message. Big happy changes. They're coming. Big happy changes are coming. The Archangels, the Angels, your Spirit Guides, the Universe is coming in to bring you these happy changes. They want you to take action. They want you to take action. And it's why? Because it's in perfect timing, which is in divine timing. And so it is. And for those of you that chose this one, I'm very happy and good luck. For those of you that chose the orange selenite with life purpose, they're saying in environmentalist. You're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. You know who I'm speaking to, right? You are a spiritual teacher out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are an earth angel. You also work with crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channeling for energy healing. And oracle cards. Some of you are psychic mediums. You are able to, to discern answers and guidance for others and yourself. And so it is. Good luck for those of you that chose number two. For those of you that chose the rules, courts, with romance angels, you've got healing family issues. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It could be a sibling also, like cousins, brother or sister. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. And for others of you, I feel that you will meet this person very soon. And they want you to have trust. The situation is calling you to have faith and trust. And so it is. For those of you that chose Archangel Raphael, number four, with the crystal amethyst, you got avoid allergens. Dear Archangel Raphael, please assist me in identifying and avoiding allergens that may be toxic to my health and happiness. Help me to only crave healthful foods and beverages. And so it is. They're saying that prayer works. And I know that you pray a lot. So keep praying, okay? Because prayers are miracles. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for hearing and answering my prayer of and added details of your prayer. And so it is. And amen. And relationship. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and, gu and guiding all my relationships upon the path of love. And so it is. For those of you that chose Archangel Michael with the Black Obsidian number five. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Your prayer is, thank you for helping me have faith so I can Open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. And so it is. Prayer will help the situation. Again, another prayer. Trust and faith is very strong here for you. And your prayer is, Dear God and Archangel Michael, and anyone else to whom you pray, such as Jesus, I ask for your divine intervention and describe the situation. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and I ask that you send me, you send one to me in this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. Amen. And write about your thoughts and feelings. And your prayer is, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express myself and glean insight blessings and healing so you maybe could carry a diary I have or a, a journal last but not least you got keepers of light number six with the rainbow fluorite you got radha 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 soul flame rediscover a lost part of yourself experience 
relationship harmony and healing. And so it is. You got Master Buddha. Master Buddha. Increased awareness. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Last but not least, you got Cam Cam Commander Ashtar. Commander Ashtar. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example and walk your talk. And so it is. Thank you very much for being here, Aquarius. Thank you for your love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And don't forget to leave me your beautiful comments. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I will be seen in the month of June. Okay, this is just for the time being because I'm still going through some of my ascension symptoms. And at this moment, I cannot be seen. But know that I love you. Know that you're well. You are guided and protected. And the universe loves you. Bye. I love you.